Volatility modeling is important in financial econometric research, in which the instability of an instrument is often more important than average performance. Generalized autoregressive conditional heteroscedasticity models, or GARCH, chart the conditional variance or volatility of a dependent variable, rather than its conditional mean. Conditional variance models consider previous values of a variance, as well as other potential independent or dependent variables. GARCH models have been an integral part of eViews for nearly 30 years. Our latest release, eViews 12, expands our GARCH suite, offering three new post-estimation diagnostic tools and introducing two fractionally integrated GARCH models, PhiGARCH and PhiGARCH. To demonstrate these features, we will use the new DBnomics interface in eViews to download US dollar and euro exchange rate data. A quick look indicates the series suffers from non-stationarity. To alleviate this, we can use the percent change of the series rather than the raw series. This percent change series is clearly stationary, but appears to exhibit short-run volatility time dependency, a behavior GARCH models are designed to capture. To estimate a simple GARCH model, keeping other settings at their default values, we click on Quick, Estimate Equation, and select ARCH as the estimation method. We enter at PCEXR, the percent exchange function, as the dependent variable and enter a constant into the mean equation. We see all variance equation terms are statistically significant and notice that the ARCH term is tending towards zero whilst the GARCH term tends towards 1. It is evident that the GARCH effects are stronger than those for ARCH, suggesting volatility effects have more persistence than past shock impacts. The fact that the two coefficients are quite close to 1 indicates that there may be long memory process in the volatility. New for eViews 12, the GARCH news curve diagnostic plots how conditional volatility responds to a shock in past events. To view the news curve for our estimated model, we click on View, GARCH Graphs, News Impact Curve. As we'd expected for this simple GARCH model, the curve is clearly symmetrical. Also new for eViews 12, the Nyblom Stability Test gauges parameter stability in both mean and variance components of the GARCH model. This test is located under View, Coefficient Diagnostics, Nyblom Stability Test. The null hypothesis of this test is that the parameters are stable, i.e., they do not change through time. In our case, we are unable to reject this null hypothesis, both for the individual coefficients and for the joint test of all the coefficients, based upon the reported Hansen critical values. The third new GARCH diagnostic is the sign bias test available under view, Residual Diagnostics, Sign Bias Test. This is a test for misspecification of the conditional variance model. The null hypothesis is that the GARCH model is correctly specified. For our model, the high p-values of this test indicate we have a correctly specified model. eViews 12 also adds fractionally integrated GARCH models with both PhiGARCH and PhiGARCH estimation. Whilst traditional GARCH models are excellent at modeling short-run dynamics in the conditional variance, 
fractionally integrated GARCH models allow modeling of long-run dynamics as well. To estimate a fractionally integrated model, we again click on Quick Estimate Equation. and enter our dependent variable along with a constant into the mean equation. Now we change the GARCH model into a phi GARCH. We keep it at a simple 1-1 model. Clicking OK produces the estimation output. We can see that, compared with the simple GARCH model, the ARCH term has increased away from zero, and the GARCH term has decreased away from one. This concludes our demonstration of our expanded GARCH suite. For the complete list of our online tutorials, visit eviews.com.